Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters, Book 5. We have a fight to get to. That was a good speech. They will follow you to their deaths if necessary. I hope that won't be needed. It's enough to know that we stand united. It's what we've been fighting for. And I no longer have to feel torn between two worlds. Thank you for trusting me, Liko. For convincing me to bring you to Guien. I... I consider you my brother, Liko. Stay safe tonight. All right. Everyone looks ready. Let's do this. For Shepard. For Shepard. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. For family. Family. Take care, brother. May your God a smile upon you tonight. I think quite a few people are gonna die. On our side, and certainly on their side as well before the end of tonight. That was a really good speech. I'm sure someone's going to put that into play someday. You know, one of those stirring, heroic monologues before the final act, before everyone dies? Yeah. I'm not saying everyone's going to die, I'm just saying, Shepard, she would have approved. I hope so. Oh, she would. She knew you'd step up and take over one day. And she cared for you. As, you know, a friend. I don't think Shepard would. I mean, you and her? With you, you know, and her, you know. Major, major compatibility issues. When this is over, we'll honor her memory. I'm sure Shepard will care more about us seeing this through than being memorialized. She stayed behind when her people left the Northlands to give us magicals a chance of winning, of surviving. That is all that mattered to her. Tonight's for Shepard, then. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. And for those of us still alive. Let's not forget those of us still alive. For all of us. Yeah. I'm really scared. I mean, I wouldn't tell anyone else, but I really am. I do not want to die. I know I keep telling people I'm ready to die, but... I know. And I can't tell you that won't happen. Because it might. Great. Good to know. Very comforting. <laughs> if I do die, then at least I died for something. Right? Something important. My life had meaning. That's something, right? Right. Well, good luck, Kian. What is it you people say? I hope your goddess smiles on you. And to be honest, on me as well. I mean, she's not my goddess, but I'd still appreciate a smile. Or just the tiniest smirk. Maybe a wink? Basically, any kind of acknowledgement will do. I want to be in good standing with all gods, goddesses, and non-gendered deities tonight. So much is on that man's shoulders tonight. I hope they're stronger than they look. Those shoulders don't look very strong. <laughs> no, they don't. I just vaguely remember that person. I think Keon broke into somewhere, and then that person discovered him or something, and then we talked Verdows into being on our side, I think. I vaguely remember it. Anna, Elena, we haven't... Yeah, it's fine. I'm not... ...talked, and... Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Uh, don't worry about it, Keon. Really. I'm glad you're back and in one piece. We have a job to do. We can talk... after. Good, yes. After. We really should. Anu and I will escort Ferdows to the engine house in the green. We'll watch over him while he does whatever it is that he needs to do. Keon, are you sure we can trust him? Do we have a choice? Yes, I, I believe we can. Okay. He'll be ready when you found your way into the tower. Something Hami said. Utana learned of my trip to Guien from a trusted source. I wonder, did you tell Utana about Guien? 
I... Uh, all right. Yes. Yes, I did. It was... I did it to help you. I trust the mother. I always have, ever since... Well, you know, you and her, you saved my life half a lifetime ago. I'm sorry for trying to help. If you hadn't told Utana, I'd be dead now. So, thank you. That's it. Thank you. We might never see each other again, and... Words can never bridge the gap between us. <laughs> I'm not gonna kiss her. I can't give her what she desires most. But I can still grant her a kiss. I can't give her everything she's hoping for. But I can at least say something to make her feel better. We'll see each other again. Really? Well, if you say so. You have a lot to learn about women, Kian. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, Elena. Are we leaving soon? Because if we wait much longer, I'm afraid I'll just curl up into a ball and be of no use to anyone. The streets are crowded with revelers, and the Azadi are staying out their way. There's no better time. This whole reaping thing is giving them the willies. It's way too pagan for our pious occupiers. I'll find a way into the heart of the tower. And we'll stand by and wait for you to contact us. You still believe you can shut the engine down remotely for Daos? With your help? Unless they've disconnected the pipes. Yes, I believe so. I know they're still waiting on the final calculations to be sent to the tower, so if we hurry... Then let's not waste any more time. Just get inside the tower and find the engine and contact us via the speaking tube. I'll walk you through the steps needed for me to take control, and then I'll force the engine to crash. Crash? Crash! crash! Wait, what's happening now? Why are we all saying crash? Has there been an accident? If we feed it the wrong instructions, the engine will stop working. Like a, a, a cloud ship that, um, crashes into a mountainside. It's complicated, but really quite easy. We'll have to take your word for it. I've worked on the engine for years. I know how it operates. Are you guys ready? I am so ready. I mean, not really, because I have no idea what we're doing, but I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Not that I feel ready. I prefer fighting an enemy I can see, and I don't understand what this engine is, or how Ferdow's plans to stop it, or what it's doing, but... So how about it, guys? Let's go. Be safe, Kion. If you die, I'll be very cross with you. Find a way into the tower. Great Moon's Eve must be very important to Mercurians if they're willing to make such fools of themselves. <laughs> Everyone is drunk, uninhibited, agitated. This could go very wrong, very quickly. So, I don't want the guards to notice me, right? I vaguely remember having some sort of magic on me. That makes me hard to see. Do I still have it on me? See, so I've got nothing in my inventory. I think the tower's over this way. I don't envy them their guard duty tonight. I don't think they're enjoying the festival much. I'm just gonna give the guards a wide berth. If we're lucky, they'll burn the city to the ground, and then we can all go. God is down with heretics and then. Ollie? Do I know this person? I see that little pop up, but I can't do anything with him. Something special about that person. This person, too. I know them. I can't believe it's Reap Moon already. I've been counting the days, and now it's here. I hardly know what to do with myself. Whoa. Kitty? I don't know what that was. It's oh god, get out of the fire, kitty. That kitty looks terrible. Good old, nice. It moves very unnaturally. Soft. Is Is that Gather crow? Round, friends. Or just a bird? Around. A most joyful Reap Moon's Eve to you all. Witness. 
a magical abomination has appeared among us on this holiest of holy nights. Oh god. It's an affront to decency and humanity. It's crow. They're gonna a burn foul, crow. That asshole. Chattering foul. Okay, joke's on me. Open this cage right now. It speaks with the voice of the great necromancer. The voice of the what now? Hold your breath, feathered servant of the shadow. Keep your obscene beak shut. Can't argue with the obscene beak bit, but I'm not liking this whole bonfire thing you've got going on. I smell charred feathers. Soon the grand ceremony begins, and the great engine ushers in a new <laughs> age of reason, logic, and humanity. And an end to sorcery. We cannot let this foul heresy poison the night with its squawks and feathery filth. This false foul mocked me once before and caused a fellow follower, a fair friend of the cause, great physical pain and discomfort. The man may never be able to drink without dribbling again, all because of this... this freak of nature. I, Honor Hilaris, candidate and faithful servant of humanity, will personally light the bonfire to rid Mercuria of this final remnant of diseased <laughs> magic, honoring our ancient human traditions, and... You gibbering coward. When are you gonna shut up and just go away? People are sick and tired of your racist tirades. If anyone here should be burned on that bonfire, it's you. Killing that poor bird is the complete opposite of what the reaping's all about. How dare you claim to represent humanity when there's nothing human about you at all? Hear, hear! Nice. And you! You're supposed to be keeping the peace, aren't you? When were you planning to put a stop to this? Are you just gonna let that madman burn birds and incite violence in the city you've sworn to protect? We do not intervene in local tradition, madam. Oh, do intervene. No one here would mind it one bit, I'm sure. Local tradition? Local tradition? This farce has absolutely nothing to do with local tradition. We don't burn poor defenseless animals in bonfires on Reap Moon's Eve. Well, it's not an animal, is it? What? I mean, it's magical. It's, it's a talking bird. Not an animal, per se. Technically, the man is not wrong. I'll give him that. Of course, it's an animal. Magical or not, it's a living creature, and you should put a stop to this right now. Uh, yeah, what she said. Sorry, madam, but unless an actual human is being harmed, we cannot intervene. Ruddy coward. That goes for the lot of you, especially that pig. Cowards! Can I just punch Help. him? I mean, I... Hello? Probably be a bad idea. Help Draw a little bit of attention. What do you want, bird? I, I don't have time for... I know you. I've seen engravings. You're Keon. Keep your voice down. Where did you see those engravings? <laughs> I spent some time in Sadir. I'm Crow, friend of April Ryan and Zoe Castillo. You were a friend of April. Friend, partner, sidekick. I came back to Marcuria to find you, believe it or not. And since you're the reason I'm in this predicament, you have to help me. And quickly, because soon, if things go the way they appear to be going, I'll be very, very hot. I'm sorry, Bird, but I need to find a way into the tower, and time is the running- The tower? The Azadi Tower? Big, white, cloud-piercing edifice? I know a way into the tower! A secret way! Get me out of this death trap, and I'll get you inside the tower, I swear on my hatchling nest! If you're lying, I'll snap your scrawny neck. Cross my beak and hope to die, which is a distinct possibility. Quickly now, that madman won't orate forever. So may be said to be beautiful, but they are carriers of okay. fever. What can I do? Reap Moon's Eve must be very yes, important to Marcurians and their filthiest sin. All of them. They reek of foul spirits and human sick. Welcome to Reap Moon's Eve. Empty. Not surprising. I could use this to grab the bird's cage, but I'd be spotted immediately, and I can't risk sabotaging tonight's mission. <laughs> Are all those people throwing up in the background? Pledge to you, the good people of 
What's this? This must be the kindling they used to start the pyre. No on turn. This no seems like an obvious unlocked. target for sabotage. No to find the last so I need to do something with the kindling, of, like wet it or something, so that it can't burn? City. In this city, they have bathtubs for birds. The Northlanders are an odd folk. Do I need to pour, pour beer on it or something? I mean, I have nothing in my inventory. A pumpkin. An odd vegetable. Native to the Northlands. We have nothing like it in Hazardia. Dragon's fire. They've even put a little fireball on the bottle. I'm not sure if that's an invitation or a warning. Empty flagons. Empty. Which one's least filthy? Nope. They're all filthy. I feel unclean. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get some water. Okay. So now, I shall put my torch to this pyre, and we shall watch the bird enough. burn. Sounds like Along with this pagan symbol up his mad of witchcraft ramblings. and wizardry, I'll just have to wait. The wicked witch and watch. of the north, death to magic, death. But enough talk. This bewinged demon, this symbol of sorcery, this affront to humanity, must burn. Uh, mm, must he? Uh, must is a very strong word. I'm not sure it's a word I use to... Burn, you transmogrified necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Can't he just... Uh-oh. Oh. Ah, burn, feathered gargoyle. Gargoyle? No. No. No! Humanity. Honor. Humanity. Certain food. All right, still Those empty. Can I, like, water the rest of this thing? <laughs> no, so I... What do I need to do, then? I don't know, I guess we fill this up again. To stand up and make a fool of herself in a crowd of decent, hard working men. In order to defend a magical. I'll tell you what. Sorcery. Dark sorcery. The shadow. Sort of empty. Uh, I wouldn't do anything anyway. Mm. Let me tell you a few things about the magic. Can I. Non-humans have lower intelligence. Can I just like pour it on their torch and in front of everyone than humans. While it's I'm on a covert a scientific mission. fact. No, Learned scholars right. have measured skulls More and come to required. this conclusion. You can look mm. it up in books. I guess they don't mind being watched. <laughs> this is awkward. Yeah, come on, don't stop. Give it to me. That's it. <clears throat> Sorry. It's Reap Moon's Eve, sir, and you <laughs> appear to be uninebriated. For shame. Public intoxication is practically mandatory this evening. You're in luck, sir. Most stalls have shut down for the evening, but we're open and will remain open until the very last bottle has been sold. Which, from my experience, won't be too long now. The discriminating Northlander knows we're a notch above the rest. No Southlands imports here, sir. These bottles are tapped in the Northlands with wine from the tart purple grape. I'm sure your wine is more than adequate, merchant. Oh. oh. Very well. What can I get you tonight, most sober of sirs? Perhaps you want to sample a bottle before you buy? I'm not some barbarian choosing wines merely by color. <laughs> I'll need more than a thimbleful. A bottle will serve me better. Yes, I think so, I'll otherwise more than a I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. Which way, Insa? Uh... <laughs> Is this somehow going to solve this puzzle? Does this have anything to do with it? 
Grapes. Triple Rose. <gasps> Dragon's Fire! Oh, I bet that's it. I bet it's gonna go up in flame in their face or something. Yes. Fire wine. From the markings on the label, it looks like powerful stuff. Oh, that's no ordinary wine. That, good sir, is a bottle of Dragon's Fire. Fermented using the finest hand-picked bottles in our collection. Fortified with honey and... What's the price? It, you don't want some proper background before you... How much? 125 <coughs> silver coins. What? No. I don't have that kind of coin. Well, it's between my stock and sobriety at this hour. That choice ought to make itself. Okay, can I get a thimbleful? Hello again. Changed your mind, sir? Do you perhaps want a little sampler? Yes. I'm not a small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Interesting. You want to sample the Dragon's Fire, our most potent wine, capable of reducing seasoned warriors to tears and bashful maidens to... I want to taste it now. As you please, sir. Look at that tiny little goblet. Oh, there oh. you go. Those skills. Sir. Look where they Give just poured it from. A swell and a sip. Look what they just did. That's amazing. Um. So like. Yeah. No. That's the cutest little thing. Can I combine these? I can't imagine just pouring that on it would work. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll fill this up with water again. Now can I mix them? No. So I guess I'll just put the dragon's fire on there? Can't think of what else to do. Is to burn it. That was barely burn two drops. I need a lot the more for this to have any effect. The fire destroys the contagion. Okay. The fire brings the light of goodness to us all. And we shall embrace it. So I need to somehow steal a bottle or get the coins. Huh. Have you finished sampling, sir? If so, please return the cup and we can commence our business. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, I have no idea what to do. All I have is a nasty flagon of water on me. I don't think I'm going to be buying it. I, I mean, everybody's drunk around here. I imagine I could pickpocket some coins, but, like, I don't think that's gonna happen. Even this amount can probably kill a grown man. <laughs> Shadow! <laughs> Burns like fire! <sighs> Tonight we fight like dragons. He expects the cup to be empty. Besides, no honorable man returns a full cup to his host. Uh, oh. Oh. That was like drinking the shadow's sulfurous piss. <laughs> ah. I'm reasonably certain that had bird shit in it. I just drank bird shit. <laughs> this was not a well-considered action by any measure of things. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, why do I do this to myself? I love the voice acting there. I mean, I would have tried to just empty it out somewhere else, but I didn't know how. I don't think I could. Uh, um. Okay, so it seems the solution is to put down 
the muck? But I don't understand. Surely he's not going to fill that whole thing, right? I mean, what? Hello again. Chi I'm a small sum. Which one? Interesting. I want to tell as you. A one, two, uh, three. What? Four, five, eight, nine. What? Ten. Odd. I don't remember the tasting cup being quite so expansive. Ah. Uh, how does that make any sense? If the merchant was incredibly drunk, I could see that, but they do not appear to be. What? Huh? Alright. No more! That ends tonight with cleansing fire! This should be enough. Sounds like Hilaris is about to wrap up his ma- So now, but enough talk! Uh, burn, you transmogrified <laughs> necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. Oh my god. God save me! God save me! Help me! You not break it up! Nothing to see here! Shut up. We need to get him to a healer! Now! God has protect us. He'll be lucky to survive the night. Right, party's over. Go on, all of you. Go home. Be with your families. Good job. And now, okay. get me off this blazing bonfire! Yeah, see, the fire's still going. Uh, pitchfork. I can still see blood. Talk about cutting things close. I smell of singed plumage and smoke. So... Were you lying to me about that secret entrance to the tower? No, I would never. Uh, well, I totally would. That would be just like me, lying to save my tail feathers. But I was actually telling the truth. I do know a way into the tower. From below. No? Not making much of an impression on you. Okay, then. Follow me, big guy, and I'll lead you through the darkness into the light. The light, in this case, being the tower. More specifically, that weird pillar of dreamy light rising into the center of the tower with all the rotating metal bits? You mean... the engine? Is that what they call it? The weird thing with the gears and the levers and the metal what's-its? Then yes, the engine. What, you don't want to go there? Lead the way, bird. And fast. Crow. And I'm useful again. Imbeciles? Amateurs? Don't they know who they're dealing with? Don't they know who I- Finally! What took you so long? I've been in here for days! You fool. How did you manage to get yourself locked up? Some people don't appreciate art. Come. You need to prepare the engine for the ritual. Uh, yes, Master. About bloody time. Home sweet home. I'm sure you remember this place. I mean, you raided it and arrested everyone and directly contributed to closing it down for good. Remember? Yes, Bird. I remember. Good. Yeah, it's a far cry from how it looked back in those happy days. But I've nested here. It's not bad. Also, it's Crow. My name is Crow. What does this place have to do with the tower? Okay, right. So, there's a secret passage leading from the cellar into a ruined subterranean city below Mercuria. Both April and Zoe used it. I've been through there a few times myself. Purely for research purposes, of course. Not to look for... treasure. Where's the cellar? 
behind the bar and to the right. The cellar door is behind the bar. I know, I just wanted to chat with you. For a bird, he appears remarkably intelligent. Annoying, but intelligent. You'll warm up to him, Keon. This is the cellar door. They boarded it up? It wasn't boarded up the last time I checked. Or maybe it was. To be honest, I haven't been down there in ages. Well, I guess this is it. There's no way past those flimsy wooden boards. How about grabbing a cup of ale and a front seat to the end of the world? Hmm. This is it. The end of our journey. And we came so close. I have to say, this turned out to be quite the twist. I forgot my purse somewhere, so I'm dead broke. Okay. Violence! I'm not used to adventuring with people who resort to violence. I have to say, it's very refreshing not having to look for keys or levers or trying to trick wizards into lowering bridges. We should have brought you along from the start. You would have saved us a lot of time. Let's go, bird. Crow. Crow. Seriously. Watch your step, big guy. Here we are. This is it. The entrance to the grand underground realm beneath Markyria. Uh, it doesn't look so grand from this side, but believe me, it's grand. There's nothing here. Uh, no, no, watch this. This next part is truly awesome. Ahem. <laughs> look! Look! Not bad, eh? Just like with your foot upstairs, except with my voice. We made a crow-sized hole. What are you waiting for? I can't get through there. I'm sure you can. It's just... Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I see what you mean. That would be a tight squeeze. <laughs> You're bigger than I thought, big guy. Weird. When April and Zoe did it, they fit perfectly, and they're not that much smaller than... Wait. I know. You need to sing. Sing? Makes perfect sense. Bird makes music. Bird-sized hole appears. Human makes music. Well, you do the math. Uh, I... I can't sing. You have a sing hole in your face. <laughs> Blow air through it. Go on. The fate of the universe depends on it. Fine. How does it go again? Now you. Go! I think it's... So, high, middle, high, low? Nothing. That was correct, wasn't it? It sounded correct to my ears. That was, uh, serviceable. <laughs> so, hmm. Huh. Can you do it again? Maybe I need to do it louder. <clears throat> I don't think... Wait. There was something else. Hmm. When April passed through here, she had some sort of, uh, egg. Egg? A magic egg. It must still be down here somewhere. Unless someone's stolen it, which is quite possible. It was a while ago. How would a magic egg help? How can a magic egg not help? Come on, look for it. This is ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. A magic egg? I don't even remember this magic egg. <laughs> Find the ellipses. Magic egg. Once were barrels, probably for beer or wine. They were probably used to hang salted meats, Mercurians may fall short in many areas, but their salted meats are spectacular. What a tragic fate for a lovely chandelier. This tavern must have looked grand back in the day. Once were barrels, probably for beer. They were probably used to hang salted meats. Mercurians may fall short in many areas, but their salted meats are ale casks, most likely.
tools, rusted through and quite useless. From the label, I'd say this probably held liquor once. Ale casks, most likely. A sad sack. Flour, maybe. All right, so I can't go up. Where would this magic egg be? Now this is the stuff. Real Southlands wines. None of that Northland swill they serve in most taverns. I'd be embarrassed to even call it wine. I don't see anything. This is a wall. Just a wall. My suspicions are confirmed. It's a wall. Just a wall. Really. Oh. Distant? There's something odd about that lamp. It doesn't match the rest of the... decor. What's this? Some sort of... egg? The goddess smiles on me tonight. I'll just need to be careful. Ah, shadow. There, got it. This certainly looks like a magic egg, whatever its true purpose. Hopefully, it'll help me. So do I use this on the wall? Hey, whoa, what did you do? I used the egg. Weren't you watching? No. But see, see, I told you, the magic egg helped. I guess you needed a magic item because you were so thoroughly unmagical. Thanks. Me? I'm a magic bird. I'm my own, uh, magic egg. No props needed. And now there are magic symbols. Cool. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, magic egg, magic hole, magic symbols. Mm. Okay, so high, medium, high, low. Nice work, me. Onwards, bird. Crow. How hard is it to get that one right? Crow. Yeah, come on, Keon. There used to be a lot of these creatures down here, grubbers, but they've all vanished. I don't know where they could have gone. They wouldn't really fit in upstairs, especially not with the, uh, those new guidelines vis-a-vis -vis magicals. So what we're looking for is right there, a floaty thing what you can row in? Uh, boat? That's it! Row, row, row your boat gently across the, uh, the deep, dark, eldritch subterranean lake filled with all kinds of ancient tentacly weirdness and sleeping gods. Please, bird, silence, crow. And I'm just trying to lighten the mood, big guy. You need to laugh more. I laugh when it's appropriate to do so. Show me. What? No. I won't perform for you like a... a trained ape man. Come on, you can do it. It's easy. Like this. <laughs> See? Open your mouth, smile, push air through. 
I mean, I have a beak. I don't know how it works for you humans, but if I was going to guess... Ha! Ha ha! Ha! <laughs> that's, um... That's sad. Frankly, that was disturbing. Please don't ever do that again. You have my word. Good. So, did you and April ever hook up? You know, mate, calculate? No. Bird, you need to learn common decency. And I am gay. I don't mate with women. Interesting. I prefer females myself. But it's not like there's a lot of us around, whatever my species is. And as long as I'm not starting a family of my own, who cares, really? Although I would like to start a family, I'm getting on. It may not show, but I've plucked some gray feathers, and I can feel it in my wings. Most mornings, they're stiff as dry twigs. I won't be around forever. It would be nice with a young wife to take care of me in my twilight years, to regurgitate my food and care for our hatchlings. I'd like to pass down some of the wisdom I've acquired through my journeys across the world, and all the jokes. I'm sure you'll meet the right bird. Someday. Soon. Hmm. I hope so. I really hope so. It was nice that we just got to spend some time with Crow. Here we are. This is it. This is unbelievable. It's beautiful. My skin's... My skin is tingling. There's a strange energy coming from that. These are dreams. That swirling blue pillar? If you listen closely, you can hear them. Thousands of voices. It is beautiful. This place was built by the grubbers who lived down here as some sort of container to store dreams. And now the grubbers are mysteriously gone. There's probably some greater plot here that I cannot possibly wrap my little bird brain around. The tower's right above us. They built the tower on top of this place. That can't be a coincidence. Oh, speaking of coincidences, I remember the temple that used to be up there before they tore it down. Belonged to the Sentinel. The protectors of the balance. Nice place. Beautiful murals. Shame it got destroyed. And like I said, probably just a coincidence. That's my way up. I'll fly up and wait for you at the top. It'll take you a while to climb the whole way. Break through. Oh, this isn't good. 